Fox 23 exclusive Oklahoma Senator James Lankford says he will vote yes to the current proposal to repeal and replace Obamacare being discussed now in the U.S. Senate. Fox 23's Rick Marinon is the only reporter to speak to the senator today in person and is live with why he says passing a solution may not be as easy as it sounds. Rick. Well, as we learned over last summer, just because someone is a Republican doesn't exactly mean they'll toe that party line 100 percent. And Senator Langford tells me, in addition to those who voted no against repeal and replace plans over the summer, there's now some hesitation from some in Midwestern states as well. Senate Republicans are running out of time. The rule they were using to repeal and replace Obamacare expires next week. And there's one more attempt to carry out a major campaign promise. If you take one of those bureaucracies out, that is the federal bureaucracy, and, and reduce that, you get more money that goes to patients. That's a simple way to be able to look at it. Oklahoma Senator James Langford told Fox 23 Thursday he supports the bill known as Graham Cassidy. For the two senators who wrote it, and he believes it's a solid path forward in trying to lower health care costs in Oklahoma. There are methods that are already in place, whether that be accelerating sooner care, whether it be reinvigorating Insure Oklahoma, to be able to take care of people that have the greatest need. They need the opportunity to be able to do it, and quite frankly, they need the pressure to be able to say, solve this in the best way possible. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, one of two declared no votes, says the government is still spending a lot of money that it doesn't have. The Cassidy Graham bill is going to spend a trillion dollars. It keeps the Obamacare spending, but just reshuffles who gets it. That, to my mind, is not what I promise the voters. The Langford says shifting funds away from states that have expanded Medicare under the Affordable Care Act is simply rebalancing funding away from government waste to every state being equally equipped to handle their own challenges. So Oklahoma will be a big winner uh, in the dollars that are coming into the state to be able to take care of those in greatest need and in greatest poverty, uh, but it also allows the opportunity for us to have the greatest flexibility, which is also desperately needed. Langford also says that it may come down to a tie vote 50-50 because there are two no votes already. He believes Vice President Mike Pence have, may have to break that tie vote in order to get Graham Cassidy passed. We'll just have to wait and see how all of this plays out next week before that deadline. Reporting live in downtown Tulsa, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.